Okay, I want to take a minute and talk to you about number problems for AP Environmental Science. Um, too many people, when they see numbers and math problems, they get intimidated and scared, basically. Uh, it shouldn't have to be difficult, though. And what I want to do is I want to teach you an approach to solving these number problems. To do that, I want to take an example, a math FRQ. The only one you've seen so far this year, you've already had it as a test. And overall, those tests were not very good, which is why I'm going to take a little time and break it down and make it simpler for you. So let me begin by reading the description, and then I'm going to give you a method that you can use to get the solution. The Cobb family of Fremont is looking at ways to decrease their home water and energy usage. Their current electric hot water heater raises the water temperature to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which requires 0.20 kilowatt hours per gallon at a cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Each person in the family of four showers once a day for an average of 10 minutes per shower. The shower has a flow rate of 5 gallons per minute. Calculate the following. Be sure to show all your work. The first thing I'm going to emphasize here is to show your work. First, you won't get credit if you don't show your work. Second, uh, if you don't show your work, you're very likely to make a mistake, so you won't even get credit for getting the answer because you'll probably get the answer wrong. Third, somebody has to grade these, and you want to make it as easy as possible for those people to grade. So not only do you want to show your work, you want to show it neatly and include units with answers. So, let's look at the actual first question. The total amount of water that the family uses per year for taking showers. So we want to calculate the amount of water the family uses per year. So what I want you to do is to begin with the end in mind. There are lots of different numbers given to us up here. Don't worry about any of those yet. Think about what we're looking for. We want to find the water use per year. Now what are we going to measure the amount of water used in? Well, in this problem, it's done in gallons. Whether you're doing kilowatt hours uh, per gallon or you are doing five gallons per minute, the volume of water in both cases is measured in gallons. So if we want to find the amount of water used in a year, I want you to think to yourself, I want to find the number of gallons used in a year. So before we start with any problems, just think of what you're looking for. We're looking for gallons per year. Have that in mind to begin with. Now, if we want to find gallons per year, we do need a number that deals with gallons. So we want to think about how fast or how much water they're using. So as I was looking, thinking about what we were measuring, we saw two numbers that had gallons. 0.2 kilowatt hours per gallon, that has to do with the energy used per gallon, and five gallons per minute. Now, if I want to figure out how much water they are using, the energy shouldn't really come into play yet. All we're worried about is how much they are using. So the shower runs five gallons per minute. So since we want gallons, let's start with a number that has gallons. So when we begin our problem, we know what we're looking for, gallons per year. Start with a number that you know, five gallons per minute. Now, always, always, always show your units. And if your unit is a fraction, gallons per minute, show it as a fraction, one on top, one on bottom. So right now, we know gallons per minute. We want to know gallons per year. Now, this is gallons per minute that the shower is being used. Well, if we look up here at other things, we know that on average, they are taking 10 minutes per shower. So let's think about units. Let's say I want to get rid of minutes and I want to switch it to the gallons per shower. We know that we're taking 10 minutes per one shower. So if we're following, we now have the gallons per shower. Well, we want to know how many gallons are using in a year, so that's gallons per shower. But if there's four people in the house, each taking one shower a day, that means they're taking four showers a day. So I can now switch it to gallons per day because I know that they are taking four showers per day. So following my units, I've now went from gallons per minute to gallons per shower to gallons per day. 
So the last thing I need to do is to switch it to gallons per year. Well, how many days are in a year? It doesn't tell you up there, but some things you're just supposed to know. So hopefully you know there are 365 days in a year. So following our units, we started with gallons per minute, and now we've got to gallons per year, and that's what we're looking for. So if you think about what you're looking for to begin with, we knew we needed something with gallons. So we started with how fast they were using gallons. And we worked by following our units until we have what we want. Now that we have what we want, it's a matter of working it out. Now I want to talk about another benefit of this method. One, it makes it very easy and clear for whoever's grading your paper to see what you're doing. But the biggest benefit is it can make your math simpler. You don't get to use a calculator. You have to work this out by hand. So you do not want to deal with nasty numbers. One nice thing about multiplication and division is there you can do it in any order you want. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. doesn't matter the order. 3 times 2 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3 times 2. So while we have a problem written up here, we can multiply in any order. I would think, if I were looking at this, I would first go you know, 4 times 5, which I think you can all see quite easily is 20. So if you multiply that by 10, you get 200. So now I have 200 and I still have to multiply 365. Let's show how that makes your numbers a little bit easier. Look at there, we've said that's 200. And we've said this is 365. So hopefully you can see this is really just by doing 365 times 2, and then we can just put some zeros on the end. It's not too hard to multiply by 2. So if we just work here, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then I've got to put my zeros on the end. So I now have my answer. It's 73,000 gallons per year. So when you get your answer, make sure you put your unit, gallons per year. Now, for this problem, the grader would also give you credit for just 73,000 gallons because it tells you per year. But it doesn't hurt you to put the gallons per year there. Hopefully, part one makes sense. That was the one that you were most successful on as a group. Let's look at part two, but I want to continue emphasizing method. So if we go down here to the second part of the question, the annual cost of the electricity for the family showers, assuming that two and a half gallons per minute of the hot water used is from the hot water heater. So we now want to find cost. So if we want to find cost, we want, and we want to find more specifically the annual cost, so we want to find the cost per year. So again, begin with the end in mind. We want to find the dollars per year. That's what we're looking for, dollars per year. So let's go up and see what might give us some information to help us with that. Well, I want dollars. So if I look up here, the only thing that's going to give me dollars is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So since I want dollars on top, I'm going to start with that figure. So if I come over here and I say, all right, it's 10 cents per kilowatt hour. I want to end up getting to dollars per year. So I need to get rid of kilowatt hours. I want to keep dollars, but I want to get rid of kilowatt hours. So let's go up here and see what might can help us get rid of kilowatt hours. Well, I've already used the 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Where else does that kilowatt hour show up? So, if we're looking there, uh, oh, it's 0.2 kilowatt hours per gallon. Let's look at how we might could use that to help us. We want to get rid of kilowatt hours. We can switch it to gallons because we know that there are 0.2 kilowatt hours per gallon. So there are 0.2 kilowatt hours per gallon. Following, we've started here with dollars per kilowatt hour. We now have dollars per gallon. Now, a common mistake here would be, ooh, 
to say, I know they're using 73,000 gallons per year and that'll get me what I want. But you have to think here about how much of this is actually hot water. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use that number, but it's not going to actually be our answer yet. It's a little bit tricky because it gives us the right unit, but we're not quite there. So I'll try to explain that in a minute. But if we're looking here just at units, we would say 73,000 gallons per year. That gets rid of gallons. We now have dollars per year. And you may be thinking, that's what we want. We're done. And a lot of times we would think that. But the, the trick here is not all of this water is hot water. And we're only having to pay to heat the hot water. So we now have to think about how much of it's hot water. I think most of you, when you read the description, you could tell that half of it is hot water because the flow rate is five gallons per minute but it tells you that we're only using two and a half gallons per minute of hot water so half of it's hot water An another way to show that is to say that we have two and a half gallons of hot water for five gallons of water but what most of you already recognize is that two and a half over five is a half. You're already using that idea of simplifying as you go. So now we are actually set up to find what we want. This is where we're going to see the real benefit of writing out all the steps at once. We're going to be able to simplify. You've already told me that two and a half over five is just a half. What's the easiest thing over there to divide in half? Well, I think it's point two. Half of point two is Point one. So if I go ahead and do half of point two, half of point two is point one. Now my math is really, really simple. Because if I multiply by point one, I just make it one decimal smaller. So here I'm going to take 73,000, I'm going to multiply by point one. That's going to make it 7,300. Then I'm going to multiply by point one again. That's going to make it 730. So I now have my answer, which is $730 per year. If you're doing these problems and you're having to do lots and lots of arithmetic and the arithmetic is difficult, you're either doing it wrong or you're not doing it the easiest way. Use simplification to help you. Okay. Now, the last problem... Part, there's a number of ways to do this. Most of you actually did a nice trick to help you solve this. You recognized that $730 per year was $2 per day. You don't, if you do that, that's going to make the problem a lot easier. It's not the only way to do that. But let me show you how to see that $730 per year is $2 per day. You know that one year is 365 days. So if you're working that out, years goes away, 730 over 365 is 2. That's $2 per day. If you recognize this, the problem, part B, is really easy. So let me read part B. The family is considering replacing their current hot water heater with a new energy efficient hot water heater that costs $1,000 and uses half the energy that their current hot water heater uses. How many days would it take for the new hot water heater to recover the cost of $1,000? Well, if it's costing them $2 per day to begin with and it cuts their energy use in half, it's going to save them a dollar a day. So. What you can see, hopefully, if you, if you recognize that's $2 a day, you can see that half of $2 per day, because it's cutting their energy use in half, it's saving them $1 per day. Now, how much do they have to save to pay off the hot water heater? The hot water heater costs 1000 I think you can already see they have to save for 1000 days. So, if you wanted to show that mathematically, you would want want to say that they need to save a thousand dollars and it's costing them a dollar per day so it's going to take them a thousand days 
Now, another thing you can do, even though this is a math problem, you can, you can write out a written explanation if you don't want to show the math or if you think it's more clear. You could say they're saving $1 per day, so it will take them a 1,000 days to pay off the hot water. You could just write a sentence, okay? So you can say saving $1 per day will take a 1,000 days pay for the hot water heater. And I'm out of room there, but you get the idea. You could write it out. Okay, let's say that you do not recognize this as $2 a day. Does that mean that all hope is lost? No. Let's go back to the answer we got in the last problem. We're saving $730 per year. We still want to know how long it's going to take to pay for that Thousand. Okay, so we're using right now, pardon me, seven hundred and thirty dollars per year. But if we save half of it, if we save half of that, we're going to save three hundred and sixty-five dollars per year. So let's go back to that for a minute. So in part B, we had answered the annual cost of electricity is how much? It costs them seven hundred and thirty dollars per year. So we knew to begin with it was costing them seven hundred and thirty dollars per year. We want to then know how much they're saving. Well, they're saving half. They're using half the energy. So they're going to save $365 per year. The question then is how long does it take to save $1,000 for the hot water heater? So if we look, we want to save $1,000 for that hot water heater. We want to get rid of Dollars, and we want to get a time, in this case years, $365 per year. Now you could actually do this, and that would give you the correct answer, in years. But like I said before, if you're doing this correct, you shouldn't have to do any difficult division. I don't want to do 1,000 divided by 365. So this is where you would hopefully say, oh, one year is 365 days. So now I've gone from dollars to years, and from years to days, and now the math is really easy. 365 over 365, that's one. One times a thousand is a thousand. It's going to save a thousand, take a thousand days to pay off the hot water heater. Now, I know that you can get lost in that. I talked for a while, so let me reemphasize the main points. First, Read the problem. Second, think about what you're looking for. Begin with the end in mind. So up here in the first part, part one, we knew that we were looking for the number of gallons used per year. So I started with gallons per year. That told me I needed to know about gallons, so I started with the flow rate, which gives me the gallons per minute, and I kept working with my units until I got gallons per year. <coughs> Sticking with that idea of begin with the end in mind. We wanted the cost per year. So we wanted dollars per year. So I started with a number that had dollars. Since I wanted dollars on top, I started with dollars and I followed my units until I got dollars per year. So if you know what you're looking for at the end, it can help you figure out where to start. Because you always have extra information and you have to know which information to use. Take your time. Think about it. You can do it. The last thing is try to show all your steps at once. One, because that makes it easy for the grader, but more important, it makes it easier for you to do your math. Emphasizing that, look at the last problem. We knew that we wanted to save $1,000. We figured out we were saving $365 per year, but there was 365 days in a year. If you had just done this one step, you would have an ugly division and then you'd have to multiply it by 365 and you'd have an ugly multiplication. But if you do them all at once, you can see real easy. This is one, so our answer is a thousand. Use simplification to help you.